There are many challenges in industry for dairy farmers. Controlling and managing effluent is just one of them. Use of effluent to build up soil nutrition is an important part of the pasture program here at the Haddon's Farm in Sabina River, Yungarilla. My name's Neville Haddon. I live in uh, Busselton in Yongarilla, WA. We run a dairy farm, Yongi Downs, with my wife Elaine and my son Gary and his partner Tiffany. About eight years ago we decided to go towards a 60 stand rotary dairy and um, with that expansion we've, um, we've been trying to make sure that especially with the effluent program that we've always been proactive and believe that we need to take care of that ourselves and, um, um, and make sure that we um, use the, the nutrients out of that the best we can and um, that's part of the program that we're actually entering into now. So we have a thousand hectare, hectares here now with our latest um, acquisition that we've bought and with that we're actually expanding our cow numbers as well so um, with that there's more effluent um, that's coming out from those cows, a bigger operation to run and uh, we're doing what we, what we can to become as efficient as we can with what we're doing. We've built this large um, dam at the back of us a number of years ago ourselves. Um, we put in a, um, um, a filter trap which traps the solids and uh, lets, lets the liquid seep through the wall. That was okay when we were smaller but we've certainly outgrown that now and uh, we've had to move towards um, uh, a bigger system. We've got a key dollar separator taking the solids out. We'd like to utilise those solids, um, certainly in the first instance by taking it away to the further paddocks that we're cutting hay and silage on where we don't graze the dairy cows. Um, we're probably eventually going to compost that, bring other material in so that we can set up a compost system so that the further away paddocks can uh, benefit in the nutrients further away from the dairy uh, and where the dairy cows are grazing. Yeah, we're seeing an, an enormous improvements and with, with the testing that we've had carried out here across all of the paddocks through the dairy area, we're finding that um, because of that testing, we're able to drop out um, P and K out of, the, out of the system, the two very expensive products, and uh, only use nitrogen and sulphur in those areas and get phenomenal growth still. So I think the, the next stage two and three are gonna be very, very important where we're going to be able to take the majority of the liquids away further out, at least two to two and a half kilometres away from the dairy area into the sandier type areas where we can use those nutrients better. We have to live with the environment here and we've, we've got to be mindful of what's happening and happening to the rest of the community and the, I think the community also expect us to have a, an environmental view about the way we go about farming and we do our best to, with the constraints of money constraints that we have in being able to do that as well as we can. We have received um, support uh, and also um, a lot of advice um, from the local authorities and um, Geocatch has been very, very good to us through that process and all the people that have been with Geocatch to help us out with working through it. And I believe that you know they could come in with a big sledgehammer and hit us or they can work with us to try and solve our problems and, and uh, we are proactive in trying to solve those problems ourselves as well. Yeah.